Second chance to. Nice. Caught his ass trying to M sets it up. That was on reaction. That was just a, that I don't. I just happened to throw out the lariat. He just happened to throw out the M sets it up. And right there, you can see, right? Go up from 511 to 586. Right? So now it's it's very funny, right? Fighting a grandmaster. It it is it is just points flation, right? Because he didn't lose 75 there. He he only lost uh seven, I think. He lose seven or did he lose twelve? I can't remember. But yeah, like it's it just creates points out of thin air, basically. All right, folks, we are back for more Grand Blue Fantasy versus Rising action for you here on the road to Grandmaster of the Diva. And uh, this is the first video that uh, I am recording right now. Uh, well, this first video I'm recording, what, post the changes to the Master Rank system, right? As far as gem gains and losses and all that, right? If you don't know exactly what's going on, I will, I will do my best to very quickly recount for you what exactly is different, uh, basically. Before the patch, they made it. The, the general gist, if you don't care about the hard numbers, is it is easier to gain gems to get to Grandmaster and then harder to stay in Grandmaster once you're there, right? The actual numbers, for those curious, this doesn't kill you, does it? No, it doesn't. I got my safe jump still, though, if I whiff the close up. You used to get, if a Master fought a Master, you used to gain 10 gems for a win and lose 7 for a loss. Now you gain 12 for a win and lose 7 for a loss. If a Master fought a Grandmaster, you used to gain 10 for a win, lose 7 for a loss. Now you gain, uh, for the Master, the Master gains 75 for a win and loses 12. So definitely buffed, you know, made it so you lose a little bit more uh, when you lose, but, you know, you, you gain absurd amounts more when you win. And the Grandmaster, I believe, it's it's 12 and 7 for them, basically just as the Master-Master changes have been, right? They, they don't get penalized for losing more to a regular Master. And then if a Grandmaster fights a Grandmaster, it used to be you would gain 50, and lose, okay. Used to be you would gain 50 and lose 35. Now you gain 50 and lose 50. It's a zero sum game. You saw right there, we went from 475 to 487, right? So we gained 12 for beating another master right there. So yeah, like, again, if, if, you lost, if I lost you somewhere along the way with the numbers, again, the general idea is it's much easier to gain gems to get to Grandmaster now, much harder to stay in Grandmaster or to climb in Grandmaster once you actually get there. Ooh. My close edge is not meaty there after the work of the crowd. It's true. The rumors are true, and I got called out for it right there. Ladiva's only plus five, and that is a 12 frame heavy. So if you do just like wake up 2L or something, mash a quick button, I will go straight to hell. Is this going to punish? Damn, that move recovers slowly. When is Brick getting Grandmaster? I mean, the 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 threshold for Ladiva oh, has gone up. This is unfortunate, certainly. Yeah, I also 6 6 H my way into full cinematic distance. Uh, but the threshold for Grandmaster has gone up basically across the board for all characters because, again, they made it just easier to gain gems in regular Master Rank, right? So Ladiva is uh, at around 890 right now. Basically, the question does determine... is basically depend... Very... Oh, nice. Tried to m it. It's very heavily dependent on uh, when we get matched up into a Grandmaster and how we do in those sets. It could be today. If we fight... Th if we like, feel like fight, like, three Grandmasters and through some... You know, through some uh, some good play, we managed to like three. Uh, we, we managed to two zero like two of them or something. We'll get uh, three hundred gems, right? So again, you like it really could be. A, it really does just matter what, if we're gonna match into any grandmasters or not. Materas SBA is the worst looking IMO. She's just kicking you. They certainly. Uh, it's not the same as some of the other really good ones. That's for damn sure. Get rid of one of these. Keep the combo nice and simple. Kill the Matera. We just need to ten zero some grandmasters. Not even again. Think about it, right? If, if I fought a Grandmaster, say we beat this Matera right now, and we fight a Grandmaster, if we 2-0 them, we go from 500 to 650. Just like that, right? At that point, if we if we manage to 2-0 another Grandmaster, of course, easier said than done, but, you know, it could happen. Uh, at that point, we go to 750. And at that point, we're only, you know, we're only, like, 100 points away from GM. So it really does depend just, like, you know, on how how, how many Grandmasters you manage to find. Bonk. One, two. Get reset, nerds. Give me your break. Oh! Oh! Never mind, give me your life, also your brave points. I think I could have killed you on that combo, honestly. But uh, I'm going to play it safe. Meaty 2M, my beloved. Doesn't Matera sit on you? She does sit on you at the end, that's true. As people do like... Uh, when the, but again, her animation is definitely not... I mean, the most inspiring compared to some of the others. At the end of her SSBA, she does certainly uh, sit on... Well, she steps on you, I guess. Yeah, yeah, true, true. She like she just yeah. It looks like she looks like she's falling butt first, but she does end up with the with the feet on you. Is there much of a skill gap between master and grandmaster? Um, I don't really uh, not not inherently. Some masters just like don't play the game very. Some people some people just don't play ranked very much at all, right?
there are lots of fellows who are like really good at the game and are just like in you know d rank or s rank or something this like don't play the video game uh on in ranked uh but i would say junior jam for example he's, he's obviously the the yeah the the, the extreme example he's a d rank loane who is one of the better loanes in the country right um uh, but i i would say grandmasters i mean usually it's it's people who who uh, play the game a lot at the very least right and with experience comes at least some level of skill certain like i'd say most like you know it's at least it's not it's not a rock solid rule, but most of the best players of a character have gotten to Grandmaster at this point, right? I would say, like when I when I most of the best Ladivas that I know are the, are the Grandmaster Ladivas. So I wouldn't say it's like you know oh like you're not you're not in Grandmaster you're not even a real human being, but there is certainly a correlation, right? Ow 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 ow! I'm going to die. Also, someone asked where I would put Vera on a tier list. I'm thinking about a lot of uh, characters. I'm, I'm thinking of making a tier list. I'm not sure if it's like going to be this month or next month or what. Uh, Vera's good, though. Vera's strong. I don't know exactly where. Vera is definitely a strong character, though. I think any any, any claims that Vera is at all weak are, are very silly to me. I think on my last tier list, I had her just like kind of right outside. Like she was, she was right outside of the top tier. But Vera is certainly good. Is she as strong as Fairy? I mean, Fairy, you know, top one broken character. Of course not. Give me your toes, good sir. Give me the beat boys and free my soul. She can't achieve the same one-sided dominance? Exactly. Get grabbed, nerd. Get grabbed, nerd. I can kill him here if I'm not ass. But I'm ass. It's fine. I am bad at that link still. I gotta, like, figure out a nice visual cue for myself with that link. You know what I mean? I'm still kind of like trying to time it. I got to figure out like, you know, when exactly in Ladiva's like get up animation should I be hitting the button there? Because there is a, like, you can't hit obviously 100% of the time if you just have the right timing. I just got to figure out what that means. And and while, until it becomes muscle memory, a visual cue is certainly the best idea there, right? Get grabbed. Let me see like kind of, how about right around there? No, it's too late. Okay, got it. I got to do it earlier when she's still getting up. Understandable. Okay, get away from it. No brave counters to be baited here. It's fine. I'm not a hater or anything, but is there a reason why Vicala was chosen out of all the characters? Uh, my understanding is that she's very popular. Right? I mean, this, uh, you know, for example, Sandalfon, uh, to my knowledge, is like basically the most popular character in the entire IP. So it makes sense that he was like, they announced him so far in advance and he's like the headliner of like the new season, right? To get people hyped uh, and like not have hype die off from the, after the first season's over, right? Uh, Vicala, from, from where I can just, like, gather, I, I don't play the gotcha, but from what I gather from your people talking in my Discord, she seems really popular, and I imagine that's a big part of why she's, uh, you know, so coming relatively soon here as DLC for the video game. Good sure. You wouldn't, like, kill me, would you? You would try, you bastard. Oh, I wouldn't, I don't get that there, so true. Oh, man! His, uh, far H, I presume, sticks out just far enough to ruin my life right there, and nice. Oh, I got reset too. Oh no, I'm, f I'm like, oh, okay, I'm not dead. He didn't quite get the, the wall bounce he was looking for there. Oh, he's very minus. I really got to be matching on on good old Lancey boy there. Yo, I tried to spot dodge and I didn't manage it in time. Nice. Um, yeah, I gotta be spot. I gotta be matching on good old Lancey when he's Ju in there. Unless Vicala has a white woman install. What I heard about Gachi's support cast, I'm wondering what her game plan will be like. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Apparently, they're they're relatively faithful. To recreating, like, you know, the characters are not... Oh, 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 uh oh. Okay, okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're still here. Yeah, so there are the fireballs covering him. But he, again, he's, he's, he's minus uh, quite a lot there with that... Uh... Oh, okay, sure. He's minus quite a lot when he just JUs like that, but it, it is a reaction check. You do have to smash him when he does it. Of course, yeah, fireball there in that case was guarding him, I suppose. So there was no easy way out for me. You wouldn't, like, JU again, would you? Certainly not. Oh, nice, okay, okay. Oh! The wall jump, I was not expecting. A little wall jump into the delayed bonk right to my head there. This is bad. This is a, a rough one. Oh, I didn't spot. Oh, yeah. This is a very rough one. This, however, is guaranteed. So that's nice. 403 MS. Oh, I didn't see the ping spike that high. Is that really what happened? Okay, he's not dead. Now he's dead. Okay, good. Sometimes you just gotta, you just gotta be brave and not fear the DP. Does Lance have an overhead? I've not. I've been. Uh, I've not been blocking low during that ice reset for no reason. I mean, it's only it, like he, he doesn't have an overhead outside, like hitting you when he's in midair, which he can do off the wall jump or just like jumping and hitting you, right? Like Lance can certainly enforce some schmicks in the corner with his little wall jumps and things, but 
He doesn't like. I don't think he has a, a good like stand. I don't, does he have a standing overhead at all? Actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, right there again. He's he's very minus right. Don't uh, respect him there. Okay, sure. Oh yeah, should have J M'd right there instead of J H. Would have hit him earlier. Would have worked out much better for us. Okay, block that high. Oh, again, I gotta. I'm, I'm very. I gotta react to the audio cue there. The little shink. Okay, well now I'm screwed. Oh, I'm not. Wait, the slowdown's done already. Oh, DP, sure. And 66H stuck my toes out enough that I got murdered there. Understandable. Nice. Accidental spacing trap right there. Yeah, I guess he has, he has the universal one out of auto combo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got me. You got me. That's fair. He does have a un the universal auto combo overhead, but yeah. The slowdown ends when you hit Lance? What? Wait, really? <laughs> how, 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 how have I played this? I guess yeah, Lance is fairly rare, okay, in my defense. I didn't know that. What is that for real? I really? <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. I that's a good that's definitely a good thing, right? That's a good thing. That should be in the game that way. I just didn't know. Priding Lance of the frame 20 normal true. I don't know if he can block and keep it going. I'm not sure. I'm not I guess you know, I guess let's what because I am now I'm curious. Let's try that out real quick. Um, so if you, if you, if you don't know exactly what, uh, what we're talking about, right? Lancelot's, oh, yeah, Lancelot's you fireball here, right? Uh, no, it's just, this special one, you got it, yeah. This thing, so the slowdown for this thing is, is quite nasty in the sense that if you look, my, my far L is normally a 16 frame move, right? When I have this on me, it's a 32 frame move. It doubles all of the frames of your move. Startup, recovery, I guess it, it doesn't double the active frames, right? Is it only startup and recovery? Yeah, oh, that's very nasty. Yeah, it only doubles, oh, no, it doesn't double, okay, okay, okay. So it doubles the total frames of the move, but actually seems to be adding more to the, to the recovery than anything else, right? Oh no, the frame meter is confused. Oh, okay, got it. The frame meter doesn't know what to do. Yeah, yeah, the frame meter does. Okay, yeah, the frame meter is not taken into account yet. So it probably doubles everything, right? It doubles it doubles the startup recovery and uh, and and active frames, right? Will Matera have slower arrows? No, because again, it's just the actual it's just the actual movement, right? I assume projectiles move normally, but yeah, it's, it's just the startup recovery and active frames of the move. Uh, but apparently, also, why does it? Why is it? I feel like it's supposed to last longer than this. Oh, and, and your movement, too. What do you know? Yeah. And I feel like this, this lasts longer, usually. I wonder why it feels like it's not lasting any time at all. But yeah, so, if you hit him, apparently it goes away. Yeah, true. What if he blocks? Um. Yeah, it goes away. Yeah, so if you hit him or he blocks, the slow goes away. Interesting. Also, I will say it feels like the slow is lasting less. Did they, they didn't nerf that at some point, did they? I think the slow is lasting less time than I'm used to. Okay, I gotta also I gotta figure out a visual cue for this. Yeah, it's like right I'm like I'm like right there. I was like matching as soon as she landed, basically. Oh, also I can't 360 apparently. There you go. It's like right around here I'm hitting it, and that's when it works. Really? Yeah. Your close L is your close H while I see pretty much. It's that that's why you know. Uh, it's, it's actually going to be quite hard to hit Lance with just about anything. You want to spot dodge that usually, is the answer. Outside of certain meaty setups, Lance can't really get that guaranteed at all. What's going on, Sprite? Alright, well, we have our first Grandmaster. Unfortunately, it is Can of Sprite. A tough customer by any means. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see if we can... Uh, if, we, if we won two, if we take one game off of Sprite right here, that'll still be very significantly gem positive for us. So let's see if we can manage that. Yeah, Sprite obviously is uh, pretty good at this Grand Blue video game that I've, I've been hearing so much about. Okay, nice. Oh, nice. Oh, he didn't get unk checked on the light Larry either. Oh, I don't know how minus that is exactly, but I'm not sure if it was punishable or not. But okay, sure. I actually he the, the brave counter waited long enough that I actually did lose the cooldown on uh, EXSPD right there, which is unfortunate. M sets it up, sure. Okay, doesn't spot dodge that. No brave points on the fella. We'll take that, certainly. And this is why. One, two, three. Bonk. Hup. Keep it nice and simple there. No need to make anything more complicated. Minus eight, I think. Also, it was punishable, so true. MKOK's minus eight on block. Gotcha, gotcha. So I definitely should have punished that. Could have even gotten a far M or a close M, depending on spacing there. Lady close M is uh, seven frames and her far M is eight. Either one would have worked out right there. Oh, nice, yeah, okay. Sprite is not getting unchecked on these Lariats, certainly. A lot of the other Ladivas uh, are also using a lot more light and medium Lariat, which is bad, because it means that someone who spends as much time on ranked as Sprite does is uh, going to be a lot more ready for it. 
I fought Kanna Sprite a few days ago using Avatar Belial. This can mean like the entire cast. Kanna has a lot of characters that he plays at a very high level. And he has a lot of characters in Master too. Okay, get me out of the corner, please. Brave counter is understandable. Oh, nice spot dodge. Okay, okay, fair enough, fair enough. Good spot dodge on the uh, Setsuna for me, but yeah, the U Lariat after, I suppose. A little bit too far away to be surprising. Yeah, Kyoka's the slashy slashies, is what I'm understanding, anyway. Okay, DP doesn't want to deal with it. Uh, can't really do very much off of that without you, Lariat. Oh, the back, the back dash beat JM. That was interesting. Didn't expect that, certainly. Give me your toes, Mr. Sprite. Give me the beat, boys, and free my soul. Want to get lost in your rock and roll and drift away. Oh, tried to interrupt with far L. No such luck right there. Oh, that spot dodge was still good. Honestly, I thought I got hit by that M sets in there. I thought I timed that spot dodge just perfectly wrong, but it was actually just perfectly right, which is the closest thing. That time was just perfectly wrong, as you can see. That was just early enough to get counter hit, basically, which is what I worried happened the first time. But it's very often, uh, very obvious when it does happen, I guess, so I shouldn't be too worried about it. Oh, ooh, not a punish. Okay, that is minus, like, 11 or something from that. Even, it probably still more than that from that space. So we'll certainly take that. I'm just going to do auto combo SSBA because I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe I could, I don't know if I could have, I probably, I think I could have gotten to the corner and killed him there, actually, now that I think about it, but it's fine. Oh, he's actually got the real DP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, he spent meter on it anyway, but yeah, I was thinking he was going to be in, uh, I was thinking he was going to be in Kagura. I didn't pay attention, so I was trying to hit him with the low there, so if he tried to HDP, he would die, but he was using, he, first off, he was in, you know, the stance that has the actual DP, and second, uh, he, he used meter on it anyway, so even the other one still beats everything if you spend 50 meter on it. Bonk, bonk, bonk. What was that? Oh, he tried to flip, huh? And it didn't work out. Gotcha. Bonk. Okay. Get hit him with the guaranteed, with the fuselet even. Can you spot dodge or teleporting sword flip in U-Skill form? I've been wanting to try punishing that so bad. Uh, you can spot dodge it. It's a little bit risky, so it recovers quickly. You can, if she does it in neutral, you can just hit her. Right? You can just hit her. You can just straight up like close L, 2A, something like that. Just hit her out of it clean. Oh, I tried to JH exactly to chase a backdash right there, but it didn't work out. Unfortunate. It's the way of the world, though, I suppose. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, no on checks on the boy right there, as much as it hurts me. Okay, nice. He spot dodged the sets in there. Certainly gives you some breathing room. Okay, another brave counter spent. No, uh... Super for me, and that's a bad idea. Got it. Okay, okay. Yeah, it does crumple on counter hit there, right? Might as well either block it or spot dodge it. I mean, I guess if I recover, if I, if I acted fast enough, I could have hit it out, hit out, hit her out of it, but not with Eularia, probably. A little, a little risky. That Eularia guy. Nice, nice. Yeah, but you flip, you hit her out of it. Uh, I mean, you can just block it too. He's plus on block, but it's not the worst thing in the world. But yeah, it's, it's not safe to just throw out. It's mostly a brave counter or anti-air bait or anti-projectile move. It's not safe to just throw it in neutral. She 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 uh, can and should die if she uses it in neutral. You'll notice, for example, that Sprite is doing no such thing. Keep him in there. Keep him in there. Don't let him out. Okay, oh, okay, fair enough. The parry DP is very brave right there because it loses the command grab. But Sprite has no fear. Shakespeare. Oh, dude. Nice spot dodge, but no punish. Okay. Second chance. Nice. Caught his ass trying to M sets it up. That was on reaction. That was just a, that I, don't, I just happened to throw out the lariat. He just happened to throw out the M sets it up. And right there, you can see, right? Go up from 511 to 586. Right? So now, it's, it's very funny, right? Fighting a Grandmaster. It, it is it is just points flation, right? Because he didn't lose 75 there. He he only lost uh, seven, I think. He lose seven or he lose 12? I can't remember. But yeah, like it's it just creates points out of thin air, basically. A lot of points, I guess. There's it's all it's never a zero sum game in the system, but it creates a lot of points out of thin air, much more than normal, certainly. That's minus now. I gotta remember that. I'm, I'm uh, that 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 uh, H setsuna is no longer plus. 
it was pre-patched, and I'm still kind of playing like it is. But it is very much not. Oh, nice. Okay. Sure. Oh, that anti hurt my ass. Oh, I went to 6 xl and I got JL somehow. Unfortunate, but certainly what happened. Bonk, bonk. One and two, and far H's ass. And bring him down. Never mind. Don't bring him down. Combo limit. He's going to give me SSBA. Just barely not. That's horrendous news. Now I have it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I tried the funny. He didn't want it. I definitely tried to roll on an SSBA him. 12, I think. Yeah, yeah. Bonk. One, two, three. One, two, three. Far M. Take him to the corner. Put him down. Get grabbed. So as soon as she lands, like right around here, I just start matching and it seems to work. Okay, sure. Cool down on that. Notoriously. Very short, by the way. I could already EX SPD again. Oh, he's he's very bold with this parry reversal, man. I guess I'm not, I haven't been grabbing him on wake up enough. I gotta take advantage of that. Oh, but there's the problem with Narm's reversals, right? In Kagura, that H parry loses to Los. It doesn't block everything. That's what I was talking about earlier. She needs uh, she needs to actually spend 50 meter to have a real reversal if she's in Kagura. A reversal doesn't just like lose to to, to lows. It actually blocks everything. Obviously, the, the even the U parry uh, lose to throws. That's that's every parry. That's not for the fault of hers or anything. Okay, sure. Really got to be uh, grabbing Sprite on wake up a little bit more, I think. Like this. Make him a little bit more worried. Fair enough. He didn't believe me that I'll do it that time either. On his plus frames. The disrespect. Put him in the corner real quick. Oh, HSPD was out of range. I don't think he actually jumped in time there. I think I think if I had done light SPD, I would have got his ass. So that's bad. This is certainly a big reversal of fortune in the match right here. LSPD would have killed him too. There's no need to go for the, the fancy. I do that a lot, I find. It's always, almost always, a bad idea. Nice, and I hit with a TK flip. Nice, 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 good games. Yeah, uh, LSPD, right? LSPD would have killed. I just wanted the fancy, and there's no need for it. HSPD, if you don't know, has way less range, right? Like from here, HSPD is going to whiff, and light SPD is going to hit, right? That's fine, though. Again, the funny thing with Grandmasters, man, is that we went 50 gems positive there. We could have gone 138 gems positive, but it's fine. It's fine. Man, that's a, a, the other thing that I've been really trying to cull entirely out of my mind is this, right? 720 does a lot more damage if you do uh, Lidiva's SSBA with 720 instead of uh, instead of 236 S plus U. So he gets like a second boost, a second 10% boost on top of the boost, whether you cancel it or do it raw, actually. Um, but I can't do it on wake up or like on block, like in block stun consistent. Like I, I get I get to USBD almost every time, right? I can do it in combos pretty reliably. So I, I, you know, but I need to call the idea. And most of the time that I try, I go for 720, 236, S plus U. So again, like just a quarter circle forward, S plus U like this still gives you 10% boost, right? Uh, 720, well, this gives you 20% boost, right? But uh, most of the time that I go for 720, 236, S plus U, or just even the simple input, like just, uh, you know, what, what for me is uh, special plus throw plus U, right? The simple input, those would kill too, right? So I, I oftentimes find myself going for the fancier move when, when there's no such reason to do so. Hello, Hava. Clown piece. What's going on, dog? Yes, have a nice day indeed. We're certainly not getting uh, any easy matches today. Such is the way of the world, I suppose. His uh, far M is minus, no? This is Belial fella. I know it's two M's plus, but I'm pretty sure his, his far M's not. Right, sure. Okay, DP on the headbutt pressure. Understandable. Get out, get away from it. Get away from it. Oh, okay, sure. Unforge, certainly. Bar H into fireball. Oh, tried to jump out and I got jailed. That's it. Bro's playing post patch Belial. Yeah, yeah. They made his far in the, in the next patch. You're going to make his far M plus, probably. That sounds about right to me. Oh, I see. I didn't realize he got a, like a, little, a little thingy there. He just like. There's enough blocks on that for him to jump and high low you. Interesting. Oh, I can't. Oh, you can't brave counter it, huh? I was like matching brave counter the whole time right there and nothing came out. I see. I see. Okay, nice 2H. I, I was not aware you could not uh, brave counter his, his U fireball. 
DP. Okay, okay. I was gonna DP on the headbutt pressure every time. I see you. Oh god, he getting uh, jailed trying to jump out by these six XLs. What if I just did it again though? All right, I. Boy, boy, I forgot that you headbutt loses. It's unblockable when it absorbs something. That's so true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's just so many disappointing things to keep track of with that reversal that uh, I do forget every now and then. You wouldn't, like, kill me, would you? Wait, what? Really? Wait, how minus is the... How minus is the far end? Because uh, 6XL, if I do it right, should be about 8 frames, 9 frames. Um, but... The far M is all. How far? How fast is this far M, and how minus is it? Anyone have the frame data on this? I forget, but it seems surprisingly okay there. I was unable to. Uh, I was unable to uh, like six XL his far M on block. But I'm not sure if that was just me doing something wrong or if the frame data doesn't work out there. Get down here. Oh, okay, sure. Okay, double shirt. Nice. One, two. Buckle my shoot. Okay, brave counter is understandable, certainly. Bonk, bonk, bonk. This is not gonna kill, but I just want the brave counter advantage. Far M is minus two and six frame startup. Oh, okay. So even if I do it like perfectly. Oh, I'm hitting a button. I'm going to hell. Oh, I'm not hitting a button. Oh, and I didn't punish. Okay, but that's fine. They what, what I didn't get close. Oh no. I didn't get close then. That's horrible news. I tell you what. Punish my far end there. I see you. Get away from me. DP. Oh, came back right as they landed. Well done. I thought it was still on cooldown. This is suddenly very bad. Certainly. Nice. Get away from it. Has a lot of blocks and gets two hits. Yeah, yeah. It, wait, also, I just, that's a good point. His far end is six frames. I also just clocked that. Yeah, that's not normal. Really? I mean, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. It's Belial. Right? When, Belial, when, when, when you discover that Belial has everything, why are you, why are you surprised? See, even if even if I was doing if I, if I did it fast enough, I should be getting crushed. But if I do it like a frame too slow, then I will just like lose and get counter hit, like what's happening there. My bad. Okay, sure. Oh, nice. I tried to like delay the MSPD so I'd get right past the fireball, which I did. But how about they just walk onto the fireball and crouch on reaction to the lariat? That's fair. That's fair. It has two hits. What do you mean by this? How is that relevant? Are two hit moves usually faster or something? Is that the idea? Yeah, okay, I can't do that. I can't, right, I forgot. We just, we, we were just talking about it. Even if I do it perfectly, I'll get crushed there because 6XL is a lower attack level than a far end, naturally. Owie. Also, uh, Jacob Tyrone, 893, I believe I missed your, I, I didn't thank you for the follow earlier, which, uh, thank you. Dude, it's like impossible to avoid chip against this fella. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's too many things you can do with that go chip. We Belial's get no love. You talking about like from the devs? I think that's not very true. I think Belial gets the most love, in fact. There I say, nice, nice. Means later to the far end, which comes out on the further end, lands on a later frame. Oh, okay, okay. So only, only, yeah, only the first bit is is six frames, I suppose. Yeah. So it's six frames from up close, and how far away from? Do we know when the second hit comes out? Oh right, yeah, yeah. God damn it. Yeah, I, I, I keep thinking, oh, it's minus. It's my turn. But yeah, no, I can't do that. I can't do that. From the community? No. Uh, I mean, you know, if, if anyone if anyone is uh, being mean to the to a Belial player, I think that's just a bad person. The character is very strong, though. There's no disputing that. Probably like frame eight. Usually how it goes with multi-hits. Okay, so I'll, I'll double check after this then. I guess I guess to you is a decent answer if, if he doesn't just like down back afterwards. Mmm, you know, obviously, if he walks back, though, things get tough. And, and speaking of walking back, I'm alive. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know what to do about that either. I'm not going to lie to you. Oh, nice. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know exactly if he's just back dashing and throwing uh, Goshi. I guess I, I do just like walk and block it, right? Because rolling it is a very bad idea. You'll probably just get uh, haha funny. Second one's on frame eight. Okay, okay. So the second hit is like a more regular far amp speed. The first one up close is six. So true, so true. No SSBA recovery, Mega Minds. Good stuff. Yeah, have a, have a, you know, he just spaced me out in the corner. I don't know what to do about it. I was being facetious. Uh, facetious? Oh, yeah, yeah. How goes the bullying of the Grands? It's fine. We're uh, having fun in the new rank system.
the gem game. It really does. It feels very different when you get matched up into a GM versus when you don't, right? It's a whole, it's a whole new world now. Suddenly, it's like, oh, there's like, you know, there's like 150 gems on the line here. You know, the eyes, the eyes get wide when you find uh, a grandmaster. But also, those do, those matches do tend to be harder, believe it or not. Skibbity armpits. Oh my lord, who is this? <laughs> Fairy's number one sigma. Does you have a fairy? Does visual have a fairy? Who is this? What kind of what kind of talk to a podcast nonsense? Seriously, make Ladiva faster? Yago, is this Yago? This might be Yago. What a name. That's true, because Yago's name was Depressed Fairy before. Mr. Milk Me? I suppose so. The gem counts about right. I suppose this, this must be Yago. I, I have it on good authority. This may be Yago. Okay. Unfortunate. The far imp catching his backdash there. Beppo to catch me jumping out of the GG. I see you. Sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad. It's like, it's, it's on cooldown. It's my time to attack, but no, it was not. I will not be thrown. You will not be backdashing. Lariat was on cooldown. So you, Lariat, doing a little bit less damage there, unfortunately. Overhead. Understandable. I keep getting caught by that every time. I'm like, ah, it's on cooldown. Go, go, go. But obviously, she has her, her whip normals and other nonsense, too. That's good. This uh, is a less damage than a throw. It's like that. This is a very pathetic amount of damage, general. Oh, that was very unsafe, but I did not punish him for it. Oh, man. Once again, I got caught by the haha -ha funny on cooldown. Bonk, bonk. Okay. Oh, he's DPing. Yeah, Square Anka to win out there. Gideon the Great. Thanks for the follow, man. Um, I'm stuck with Hellrat. He walks back. Clever, clever boy. Every time. My, my brain, somehow when I block that EX whip, my brain just triggers of like, haha, we're free. We're not free. My girl even is a bit more speed. I, again, I think... Be careful take buffing Ladiva in way that in ways that take her weaknesses away, right? I would rather make uh I would rather make her advantage state scarier. Be very careful buffing Ladiva in ways that take her weaknesses away. That's uh, you you can you end up with, end up with a very toxic character very quickly if you're not careful doing that. Okay, sure, I'll take that trade. Didn't crush it though, which is surprising. Beppo will crush me. You're pissing me off. Oh, nice. I thought I could get the funny. No such. Oh, overhead to start it with the super. That's a new one. Will buff fairy make him go 5L, 5 frames? Ah, uh, you know. That'd be actually quite nice, certainly. Make SSBA go full screen in one frame. I'm down. Oh, he got Unk Chef. Amazing. Oh, he's oh he that sends me way. I was like considering if I could uh, if I could SPD him after that. And that sends me way further away than I thought. So true, bestie. Nice, and I land into uh, the Hell Rat here too. The worst case. Oh, that spot dodge was preempted. He just knew that was not like that was he was spot dodging before you Lariat even came out. Uh, uh. Nice, nice. Yeah, yeah. I'm being too aggressive. I'm just he just sticking out buttons and they're working right. Because I'm just running into them. Oh, nice. What the? Also, the 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 Beppo Brave counter bait. Very interesting. Bonk, bonk. Oh, wake up back dash. So true, bestie. Make Fairy DP, not attack in front of her and only hit behind her. Fairy steps to the nerfs quite well, it seems. Good work, Fairy Gang. I mean, if you're still playing uh, Fairy, you're you're dedicated, right? Like, I mean, Fairy did get good stuff. Fairy probably got, like, side graded or something. The problem is that's crying considering how bad she was. Oh, I did not need to spot dodge. I meant to switch from block to guards. Oh, nice. And I got my delay tech beaten out by JU. Well done. That JU is actually quite a nasty thing she has, certainly. Pretty nice uh, throw bait on her end. Oh, a little early on that there. Overhead, sure. Bonk. Really should be uh, doing something about that. Trying to super through that or something of the like. Oh, nice. Ran for a little too long. Lariat not going to win out there. Lariat not going to win out there. Nice, nice, nice. Tried a little bit too hard to just, like, cheat my way in, and it did not work out. Yeah, Yago's tough, man. I have a very low win rate on Yago, certainly. If that is Yago, assumingly. Which, uh, it, the, 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 sign, the signs match up. You know what? So, we're not going to get another Ladiva video in before TNS starts. Let's, let's, uh, let's do one more here. Let's make this a little bit longer than otherwise. Beware the negative edging. I do my best to be positive about my edging, personally, but that's just me. Everyone can uh, can do as they please. 
I'm still working on an SBA combo video for Fairy. If I if I finish it, I'm judging the other fairies if they do a mid combo. Well, I mean, you gotta make sure they all see it first too, right? Yeah, I, I still feel like I'm just mashing this link, you know, or the, the it's a cancel on a link. Like I just like as soon as she lands, I just start mashing the the down and special as fast as I can, and it feels a little uh, inconsistent, certainly. Still, this is 190 is playable pink in many ways. It really does depend. I, I've had 200 MS. Uh, Versus the Lion. Two, uh, a, a thousand, 1100 is not Grandmaster for Belial, huh? I guess that's not too surprising. Yeah, 1100 gems still only there. I know. Uh, I saw Matera is actually one of the higher ones I saw. I think it was like 2200 for Master with Matera, which was certainly. Oh, something. Nice. Far H beating out my 2M right there. You wouldn't like kill me, would you? Oh, that's not real. I'm pretty sure Cancel get into the non EX Fireball there. Wait, what? Oh, because, yeah, he's spinning it up and doesn't have a hitbox while it's spinning up. Huh? I don't know what's happening. I, this is this has been a this has been a very clean start to the match by both me and this Belial. We certainly are not just fumbling. And uh, if you claim otherwise, then you are you simply don't get it. You don't understand the, the 17-layer mind games that are going on here. Don't worry about it. Sure. Nice. I'll take that throw. It's fine. Oh, God. I forgot he can, like, high-low you there. You Lariat not going to quite win out there. Not going to win out in most cases where someone sticks out just about anything, right? Especially if they, if they do it early, like that Belial's doing right there. Got to use it a little bit. Using a little bit too much you Lariat as a neutral skip here. Uh, you fireball certainly needed the help. It's quite, quite the, quite the choice to buff that. No doubt about it. Bonk. Oh, I didn't. Uh, that, that is a, that's a combo. I just did my light headbutt too late, I suppose. So I didn't actually get the conversion off of the far L right there, and that was supposed to be another far L, but I got. I think I got the technical input for. Uh, I think I saw good right there. I got the technical input for. Uh, oh, that's a guarantee. That's a guaranteed combo there too, for uh, the anti-air grab, and things went wrong very quickly. God damn! I did not expect the last bit of that 6 h to actually connect with me. I thought he was a little bit out of range. He was just barely perfectly in range, and oh, he's minus, but I didn't, uh, he's minus three after that far H, if I remember correctly, but I didn't actually take advantage of it properly, and bad things happened. Uh, I can do this, no, nope. you can, just not all the time, I guess, and the timing also might be a little bit tighter than I was uh, good at doing that. Bonk, bonk, get down here, Mr. Lyle. Okay, sure. Double sure, should have spot dodged this. Should have spot dodged this too, it's fine. Should have spot dodged or punished that otherwise in some way. Okay, sure. Uh, let's just do this. Can I kill you here? I believe the answer is yes. Just do that. I think that does it. No, it doesn't. That's highly unfortunate. But he did mash on wake up. Amazing. I never get over you being GM without knowing about NE. I started to hold GG here. Oh, negative edge. Yeah, yeah. Hello, Yago. Good games. Good. Oh, good murder of me. I got. I tried to get the the close M after 6XL right there, but it didn't quite work out. You, you have to hit it pretty early to get the cancel. Is my understanding. Okay, sure, sir. Not quite safe to just roll through me right there. We'll take it. It's been a very odd match with Belial so far. I tell. I'll tell you what. No doubt about it. Okay, sure. I canceled something a little bit faster than him. Luckily, give me your toes. I don't know what exactly is going on, but you know. It's uh, clearly it's a solid high-level grain blue right here, and there's no way to discuss it otherwise. Every Blyle match is odd. I don't know about all that. I would, I would uh, do your best to uh, to make sure you don't develop too much of a hate boner for a character too. It will certainly affect your ability to play them or f uh, fight them rather in a negative way. Oh, it's plus still, right? right, right. I, the H one is punishable. The, the U one it doesn't guard crush anymore, but it is still plus. Oh. Cancelled into Osmodius. That's I did not see that coming. It did catch me off guard. So true. Okay, he's minus there. Not punishable, but minus. Not even throw punishable, I don't think. Okay. Oh, I, I just I didn't realize I was in SSBA range. I could have done a lot worse than that. I'll have some type of boner? That's that's what I'm talking about. That's more like it, I think. We have a big brave point advantage. Let's try and use it here if we can help it. Oh, UDP. Sure. We still have a one brave point lead. Oh, I did get overheaded. Oh, you know, I down backed and then I saw him do nothing. And so I mashed, but he did a delayed DP. So true, bestie. Very clever. Oh, my far H. Sure thing. Oh, that was the wrong combo, but it's fine. 
Country girls make do or whatever. Sure. Oh, he didn't match, really. I was really expecting to catch him with that. Command grab, sure. Funny guy. Bonk. I'm going to do this because I want my brave points back. And I don't like that I spent my one brave point on that raging strike right there. Bring us back around to even, roughly. Oh, nice. I forgot that wall bounces now. I, thought, I think that only used to wall bounce if it got an aerial hit, right? Wait, does that... Wait, that only that only does wall bounce. He got, he tried to jump, right? I thought I, I, like, I like stealth created a buff for my character right there. That is not how that works. Bonk. I'm pretty sure that still only wall bounces on aerial hits. I guess he just tried to jump and I caught him last second. On counter hit too, right? But unless I'm like misremembering and they buffed this character in ways that I forbore. Yeah, this the fake safe jump was definitely always going to end in mashing for me here because this fella has been uh, relatively aggressive on his wake ups. We take those. We take those. I'm, I'm not losing my mind, right? This thing still like it doesn't launch on grounded hit. Yeah, okay, okay. It's still only he jumped. He just happened to jump last second. Or backdash or something. So it got the wall bounce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. And then on counter hit, of course, it does also do the thing. I was like, wait a sec. I, I like invented an... I was like, I forgot they buffed... I, I I forgot they buffed that. I invented like a buff for Lediva in my head for a sec. I notice a lot of Viras use Raging Strike while Luminera is hitting you in block stun. Is this fake? Can you spot dodge out of the Raging Slash or are you forced to eat it? Um, if, they, uh, if they use it... While you're in block stun, it's fake, right? If you're not like using it like while you're in block stun, you cannot get a guaranteed raging strike on somebody. You shouldn't be able to, in, in the in the sense that like if you if you raging uh, if you raging strike someone who's in block stun, it doesn't guard break, right? If you're talking about the Oki setup, where they send Luminera and raging strike, and Luminera hits you after the raging strike, there are times there, yes, where the setup is essentially. Even if you spot dodge the Raging Strike, it'll either still be Vera's turn, or your spot dodge will get counter hit by Luminera at the end. So in those cases, you need to DP or super, right? You need, you need some invincible reversal to get out of it, basically. Got a mash? No, you will die. Do not mash. Do not mash. Do not mash. Do not mash. DP or super. Uh, you need if, if the Vera times it right, basically, you either spot... Like, if you spot dodge Luminera, you either... I think if... if depending on the setup and depending on the timing, either... You can't punish because you have to block Luminera, or they hit you out of your spot dodge straight up, right? So there are certainly cases where you have to DP. Got to match DP, correct? You got to match DP, or in, in Lediva's case, for example, you, she has to have 100 meter, or it's 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 checkmate basically, right? Uh, I believe this is only this only the case if you have one brave point remaining, though, right? You can brave counter the raging strike, right? You can. I'm I'm, I'm quite certain. You can brave counter the raging strike, because uh, Luminera goes away when Vera blocks something or it does anything. Headbutt beats RS, right? Uh, uh, well, yeah, but it'll lose to Luminera, right? There's too much of an active hitbox there. The end of remember again, Headbutt has four frames right there that are not armored before it gets active. I mean, also uh, when Headbutt absorbs something, it it loses its unblockable, right? So Vera can I don't even know like if raging strike hits meaty enough, Vera can probably recover and block it too. I forgot to sign up for TNS. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, I guess. Oh my god, you have but sucks ass? Oh yeah, worst reversal in the game. Uh, the only other reversal that is even close to in question is, uh, I guess, Loane's. But Loane, if he spends 50 meter, it's real. Never mind, I lied. Not Loane. Uh, it's Vasaraga's grab is the only the only uh, thing that is even in discussion for as bad of a reversal as uh, you have but. We've talked about it at length. The sucking of you have but here. You playing in TNS today? That's the plan. In fact, YouTube, hi. Uh, I'm going to go get this TNS run going here. So in the meantime, if you had a good time with the video, then you know how it is. Any kind of like, subscribes, comments, bells, all that good stuff is greatly appreciated. Uh, I also stream every day from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern, except for Friday. So if you'd like to come by and hang out, I encourage you to do so. I also have a Discord if you want to join that. A great place to make some friends, learn more about the fighting game. Oh, overall, you know, just have a, a good community around you. Um, so I encourage you to join that, certainly. But if you do join the Discord, be nice. Or I'll shoot you in the head in Minecraft. We have no need of assholes. Uh, most importantly, I hope you had a great time hanging out today, as always. I know I sure did. Have a lot of fun with Lediva. This new system is interesting. I mean, we we, we lost a lot of our sets overall, right? Uh, in, in, this, in this one. But we won, like, one game against Sprite. And therefore, we're, like, 75 gems pop. Okay, we won. I think we 2-1'd two, uh, two or 2-0'd two both of our games against the Masters. But then we lost three sets to Grandmasters, and yet we won one game in those three sets, 
So we lost 60 gems and gained 75 from the one... Or 72. We lost 72 gems from six losses and gained 75 from one win, right? So what a time to be alive. Uh, anyways, have a lot of fun with the video. going to be a lot more coming your way. And until then, I will see you in the next one. Peace.